A customer emailed me and asked how to make a glow effect for a t-shirt design. So I have a design here in Adobe Illustrator. First, what I want to do is let's make a transparent square that just matches the size of this artboard. And what I want to do is let's select all that, copy it, and then go into Photoshop, make a new document, and what I want to do is I want to make this a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel file at 300 dots per inch RGB color mode and go create and let's go command V and with that transparent box around it, it's going to be exactly the right scale. So click enter or return to apply that. Now the next thing I want to do is let's duplicate this layer. And the way you can make a glow is actually, there's a couple ways, but you could do it with a drop shadow, you could do it with a Gaussian blur. Um, I'm just gonna do it with a Gaussian blur. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can just play with the amount of glow that you want. And just to help you visualize this, let's do a adjustment layer and invert that so the darks become lights, lights become darks, and it actually looks like a glow. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's turn off or get rid of that adjustment layer. And what I wanna do is let's invert this top clean layer logo. And then, so now we just have the glow. So I'm gonna go Command A to select all and then copy merged, that's Command Shift or Control Shift C. And let's make a new document. And that's gonna be a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel file, same resolution, and we'll just paste it in there. And let's flatten that, and then let's go to image mode, grayscale, click discard, and then image mode, bitmap. Now the method we wanna use is halftone screen, and for the lines per inch that we wanna use, I wanna to refer to Atlas Screen Supplies page here, if you just look up LPI and halftone, I think this page comes up pretty, pretty high up on a, on a Google search. Um, but you're gonna wanna ask your screen printer what the mesh count of the screen they're gonna use is. And that all depends on the kind of ink they're gonna use. It also depends on the T-shirt you're printing on. So just confirm that mesh count. So let's say the screen printer told us a 196 mesh count that works out to 43.5 lines per inch in our halftone dots. So let's go back to Photoshop and let's click OK. And we got 43.5 lines per inch. We've got the angle at 25 degrees and our shape is an ellipse and we'll click OK. And you'll see that that is a pretty small halftone dot and that's as small as we're gonna wanna go with this. Now with a glow effect, you want that halftone dot to be small. You know, if you're trying to do like a, a novelty halftone where you actually notice the halftones, you're going to go a lot bigger and then you don't really have to worry about the screen mesh so much. But anyway, let's save this as a bitmap and let's call it glow effect. And this is a PSD file. Click save. Let's go back into Illustrator. And let's do a file place and we'll place that glow effect. And you're going to want to scale this up to the size of the artboard. And that's going to match perfectly. We have smart guides on, so it clicks right into place. And let's send this to the back. And just to make it look like a glow, gonna make a dark background. Let's just make a black background. Send that to the back. And let's select our bitmap, which we can assign any color. And I'll assign that like an orange. And I think that actually looks pretty good, you know? And then you could assign your logo any color as well. And that's essentially how you make a glow effect for T-shirts in Photoshop and Illustrator.